Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, welcome. I'm Grace and I'm a second year BSc Microbiology student at the University of Leeds. Now in today's video I really want to give you an insight into how I make my flashcards. <music> So if you see my previous video on how I make notes, then you'll see I talked a little bit about some inefficient techniques um, of note taking and information um, recording. So I really wanted to show you a technique that I've developed that I think is very effective, um, not only when it comes to um, consolidating your information from lectures or um, textbooks and wider reading and things like that, but also when it comes to revising for exams, I find that this is a really good system that I've got in place. Obviously everyone's different and everyone learns differently and revises differently, so this technique may not work um, as well for you as it does for me, um, but hopefully it will give you a little thing to think about um, when it comes to your revision and your learning. So as I said in my previous video, How I Make Notes, I discussed the fact that when I'm in a lecture, I'll have have the PowerPoint open and I will record down any extra information that the lecturer says um, underneath in the notes section underneath the PowerPoint slides and then after that so after the lectures I will go over to Excel and now this is where I record all of my flashcards so the first thing that I will do is create a new sheet so as you can see along the bottom um, of this Excel document here I've got an individual sheet for each lecture and I will um, name it the number of the lecture and the title and then I will go ahead and write down the learning objectives which hopefully the lecturer has given. So I, as you see I write down the learning objectives here, I just uh, put them in bullet, bullet point fashion. So then what I'll do next is go through and I will create questions based on the information that there is. So um, as you see here I'm writing out different questions and putting in their answers um, next to the questions. So you can see we've got a question column and an answer column. So what I will do then is um, go through the, the whole lecture, the whole PowerPoint and write down as many questions and answers as I, as I can think of and making sure to get all the key information in there. I'll also include diagrams, so if there's any key uh, diagrams included that I think are necessary um, and good visualisations of these, of these processes, then I will put them uh, in the right next to uh, the answer column. So then once I've done that, um, I will then, if there's any sort of keywords that I'm not too sure about or I want to do some wider reading, I will then add that in as well. So I'll either do it after I've done the lecture or as I go along. So for example, let's say I get to slide five um, of the PowerPoint and there's a keyword that I don't really understand that the lecturer hasn't really explained too well, then I'll just Google it, uh, find the answers and have a look at any papers which I think will be useful as well. So the way that I tend to break up my flashcards um, within the, the lecture set essentially is by by the lecture learning objectives. So for example here you can see um, in this sort of cream colour I've got number one and then um, the first learning objective and then as you scroll down we've got number two and the next learning objective and this just helps to sort of separate it out into um, more clear sections and if I feel that the lecture uh, learning objectives are too broad for example then I'll also break them down further and just put um, further sort of groups and titles and categories for specific flashcards and then right at the end I will um, put a summary of the lecture if the lecturer is given one and then also write down any wider reading that's recommended. The reason that I find this technique really um, effective is that essentially it's promoting active recall. So instead of just seeing um, notes written down on a page, I'm seeing active questions that I can go through and answer effectively. One of the beneficial things as well is the fact that my um, exams are online and we have a lot of multiple choice question um, exams online, is that when I'm doing the exam, I can have this Excel document open um, press Control F, which is um, the find function, and then type in any keywords, and then I'm able to find the section within all of my notes that corresponds to that specific question. So it's really, really handy, so it doesn't mean that I have to go through lots of notes or lectures or PowerPoints to try and find the information I need, because it's all consolidated in one document. So within the module Excel document as well, I do have a first page which has all the lectures um, written down and um, other information so for example when assessments are and stuff so it just helps me keep track um, of when lectures are and um, what assessments I have coming up. 
So I hope that this video has been useful. Um, please give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.